Welcome back to Rex members. It's the Alpha Tyrannosaurus, the talking T-Rex, aka Alpha Jalousy speaking here, and welcome back to Jurassic World Evolution 2 with a Mosasaurus topic video. And today we will take a look at how to precisely unlock the Mosasaurus for in your park. Now, as you may know, the Mosasaurus is one of the final aquatic creatures that you can unlock in Jurassic World Evolution 2 and gives one of the highest appeal creatures for in your park as you can see right here when we go to the database you'll see some information here make sure to pause it if you want to re read through the description and its needs and such like that now how do you unlock the mosasaurus well there are two ways yes the fingers <laughs> two ways to unlock this beautiful aquatic either through the challenge modes or the jurassic world chaos theory mode yes the fourth one when you progress through the chaos theory mode you eventually get a mission by dr henry wu himself asking you to release a mosasaurus for in your uh, park yes which is an actual mission and can be if you're doing the chaos theory right after a couple of hours or so i mean that's how long it took me for to get the mosasaurus in jurassic world chaos theory mode or you can unlock this beauty in the challenge modes now not in all challenge modes there which i actually thought you can only unlock the mosasaurus if you're playing the um canada map germany and southwest us yes the other ones you cannot unlock the mosasaurus there are other specific aquatics you can unlock in the other maps but if you want to unlock the mosasaurus you need to either play on any difficulty it doesn't matter easy hard um, medium or even jurassic whatever you prefer <laughs> but i suggest them easy of course and go into canada and eventually you'll get the opportunity to unlock the mosasaurus for your Self. Now there is a specific way to actually unlock the Mosasaurus for your park and that is to actually unlock the Marine Reptiles A2 which is a, an aquatic so in most cases the Tylosaurus that you need to unlock before you can actually research the Mosasaurus. So you need to progress through and actually do the missions that ask you when you're going into into the science um, the center and you're looking through the research, you would have to research the marine reptiles uh, to A first in order to unlock the Mosasaurus for research, which is going to cost a couple of million. And after you research it, it will become available in the dig sites in Maastricht in the Netherlands. And from there, you can dig up the fossils, extract them, and then get, of course, the genome percentages you will need for the Mosasaurus. And after that, you can release it in your parks. And then after you actually release it in your lagoon, of course, you'll unlock it for a sandbox. Now, the size for the lagoon that you will need for your Mosasaurus is relatively big if you do not want it to become unhappy <laughs> with its enclosure. As you can see right here, this is, the, of course, the perfect enclosure for it. It's the Jurassic World 2015 lagoon we have right here. It is massive, and, of course, the Mosasaurus prefers that, but it can actually live in smaller lagoons, surprisingly enough there. Just don't, don't make them too small. It does uh, <laughs> need its space to swim around look for food at Rome and etc etc to give your guests the best of the Mosasaurus now in order for you to feed the Mosasaurus and actually keep it alive don't feed it an Indominus Rex that's not the way to go in a uh, Jurassic World Evolution 2 no you would actually need a shark feeder you see right here this is a marine shark feeder which you actually unlock if you go um, here to the environments for example and there you have it you just need to place it down and wait for the Mosasaurus to go to it now as you probably saw at the beginning in this video, the Mosasaurus can also get uh, smaller fishes from these feeders right here. It did get some of them, but of course, it prefers the shark, as you see right here. It's probably going for it, and of course, your guests will appreciate a nice um, guest attraction. As you see right here, it's turning around, and it's going for the feeder. And up it goes. And that's... Of course, how you feed your Mosasaurus and keep it nice and happy in its lagoon. Now, let's take a look 
at what the Mosasaurus can live with. If we go to the Mosasaurus right here, it will only come in one egg bat, so you can only release one Mosasaurus at a time. It actually likes smaller marine uh, reptiles, but it dislikes the larger ones, so um, don't release it with a Tylosaurus or anything, or a Liopleurodon and such, because it will get hunted down by the Mosasaurus. Basically everything. I was trying <laughs> looking through the other aquatics, but basically every Everything gets hunted down by the Mosasaurus. Nothing is safe, so of course it's a lonely aquatic. I suggest you put it alone. It can, however, live with other Mosasauruses, as long as the area is big enough to contain uh, multiple Mosasauruses. There! So there is the full guide for the Mosasaurus. Have you unlocked it yet? Let me know what you think of the Mosasaurus in Jurassic World Evolution 2 down below. And make sure to, of course, stomp a T-Rex foot on that subscribe bell button if you thought this video was helpful and want to check out more Jurassic World Evolution 2 content. Yes, I think we're waiting for something before we end the actual video. And there it is. <laughs> Always beautiful. To see yes clappity clap there and there goes the feeder so what that being said i hope to see all you lovely dinosaur members in the next video and i hope all of you lovely mosasaurus members are going to have a great day goodbye t-rexes alpha tyrannosaurus the talk of t-rex out